So if you want to make an abstract looping bubble animation in Blender 2.92.0.0.1.3.0.154 Pi. Can you tell I'm hungry? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at how to make a cool looping animation with bubbles like this kind of thing you're seeing. So this is really easy. I actually came up with this on accident. So let's get cracking. I really enjoy this. So we're gonna hit delete on default cube. We're gonna actually go ahead and just get rid of him because we don't be needing them. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our camera and it's Alt G and Alt R to clear location and rotation of our keyboard, of our camera, sorry. Then hit R, the R key on your keyboard and then X and then on your numpad hit 90 and left click to confirm that. Hit G and then Y to move your camera backwards uh, like that. So hit zero on your numpad to go into the camera's view and I'm gonna select light up here and hit delete um, and then we're gonna get rid of that. So hit shift A to search for a mesh plane and then hit RX 90 on our numpad and left click to confirm that once again. Hit S to scale this bad boy up into uh, the camera's view so it covers the entire camera and then hit uh, shift A and we're gonna search for a light and point. So we're gonna move our um, our plane backwards by hitting GY just a little tiny bit, just a little bit so it's not like fully just in the way like that. So I'm gonna hit, uh, I'm gonna grab our, our lamp Go to the lamp tab here, hit zero. Um, first, I'm actually gonna go to the, the world tab and change our color to solid black. And then we're gonna grab our plane and then uh, hit go to the material tab, hit this little button, select this material, go to base color and change this to solid black as well. We're gonna grab our lamp once again and go back to the lamp tab, which is this bad boy right here. We're gonna uncheck shadow because we don't need shadows for this. And I'm gonna give this a color. So I'm gonna give this like a color like that, right? Just any color. I'm gonna change the power up to 50 and I'm gonna change the radius up a little bit like to maybe one, just to one even. There we go. Now, if we go to render viewport shading, you can see that we have something that looks like this, which is not exactly what I want. I'm gonna select our plane, which is this bad boy right here. Go to the material tab and we're gonna change some of these settings. So I'm gonna change roughness all the way down and specular tint all the way up, sorry, specular all the way up. And now we have something that's kind of cool, right? We can turn metallic up, but I mean, we don't have to, just leave that all the way down. So everything should be off except for specular should be all the way up. So very cool. So now you can see we have something looks like this. Um, now you can actually go ahead and move the plane back if you want to. But as you can see, if I move the plane back onto the zero axis, onto the zero place, like before we move it backwards, it kind of disappears. So make sure you have this plane back behind the lamp or else it's going to disappear. So there we go. Now we can change the radius up a little bit, but it's just going to get darker. It's going to get, sorry, uh, less bright. So you can change the power up to 100 and then maybe the, the radius up to two. And we'll just keep playing with this until I get a brightness that I like. So maybe 500 on the brightness. Something like that, I guess. And then we can just move this around. Now you can see, if you go ahead and go to the zero frame, so open up our timeline a little bit and uh, change the start frame to zero, go to the zero frame, uh, and then hit G and then move this off of the camera's edge right there, right? Then hit I, location, and then go to like frame, I don't know, 50 or something, and then hit G, move it right there, hit I, location, and on frame 100, G, move it up out of the camera, I, location. Now, if we go ahead and play this, you can see, that it comes into the frame and then goes up. Very cool, right? So we can actually go ahead and go to the main tab here, the tab right here, go to frame rate, change it to 60 so it's a little bit smoother, the output properties tab. And now you can see, it looks like that, which is really cool. That moves kind of fast still though, so I'm gonna change our in frame to maybe probably 1000, really big. And we're gonna move this, we're gonna stretch this out by 100 frames. So it's gonna be 100 frames for each of these like this, right? So, there we go. So I like the way that looks. It's really cool, it has a nice, nice roundness to it. And we can do the same thing with uh, multiple different circles. So let's go ahead and duplicate these circles out a couple times. So I'm gonna hit Shift D, duplicate this circle, and we'll move it like over here. Select all these keyframes and hit Delete. And then we'll make a new, new circle. So we'll just do as many of these as I possibly can uh, imagine. So I, location, um, we'll start it on that, and then we'll move it like maybe here, and then hit G, move it over, I, location, and move it down here, and then we'll go down, yeah. And then I, location, and then we play this, you can see that we have this bubble that comes in, and then we have this bubble that comes in. And of course, they always go off of the side of the camera so that it can loop um, once the, the animation is finished. And we can overlap bubbles as well. So I'll duplicate this again. Select all these, hit delete. And then I'll like frame 90. Or actually right here, actually, sorry. So I will actually move it up like this. I location. Maybe this one will be a little bit faster, maybe. So right there. Location, move it over, and then put it up here. Yeah, cool. So this is 
this is a really fun process to do. You can see we have a lot of different uh, things we can do. And of course, you're going to want to change these colors so they're not, they're not all blue. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the color of this one to like a pinkish. And then the color of uh, this one to like maybe green. You know, and we can just duplicate this as many times as we want. And the cool thing is that they actually overlap and create other colors. So that's really cool as well. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate a couple of these and make some more of these uh, little animations. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what this looks like with a bunch of bubbles just overlapping each other. Okay, so I've created a couple bubbles here and I have uh, ended on frame 545. So I'm going to loop it right there. So into the frame there. I'm going to go to our camera and hit uh, viewport display and turn this all the way up right there. And I'm going to go ahead and turn our overlays off as well. Hit that little button up there. And then I can hit play and you can see what this looks like. So the bubbles come in. They just kind of dance around like that. And they uh, go across and down and up and whatnot. And they will just loop right after this. So you see they just continue to go. And, and that looks really cool. You can do this as long as you want. You can add more bubbles. Of course, you can do smaller bubbles or bigger bubbles. You just make the size smaller. So I, I, let's do that real quick. So I can grab a couple of these, make one of these smaller. So we'll just change the radius down. But of course, it gets brighter. So you have to change the brightness down to compensate um, for how small you're making it. So I'm going to put this on 100. Um, that's still too bright. So 50 maybe even 25 actually yeah 25 all right so you the smaller you make it the uh, less you have to turn down the power so there we go there you go smaller bu smaller bubbles bigger bubbles um, there we go that is how you do it right there those are our cool animated looping bubble animation abstract thing I really enjoyed this uh, there's a couple things you can, you can like spotlights I guess I don't know what this is exactly for but I just love this look and it's very abstract so we are doing it today so I hope you enjoyed it that is that like I said add more bubbles take bubbles away make them bigger smaller um, but yes that is how you do it I will see you in the next one but until then bye bye